Good morning guys! I feel so much more confident in front of the camera. I don't know if it's like I've been doing it for like a month now. So I'm like, or maybe I've been doing it since June. So June, July, August, September, October. I'm finally at like my confidence. Like I'm confident, I'm happy, I feel like I'm so much better in front of the camera. When I first started, I was all like, hey guys, what's up? And so now I'm like, what's up you guys? So I definitely feel more confident in front of the camera. But I think it's also because of Vlogmas. I've been vlogging literally everything and anything. So I have to show you guys like my moods throughout the day. And this morning I just woke up feeling good. Everything kind of hurts though, because at the gym, I did stretching, I did cardio, I did running, I did everything. Like yesterday I was like, I don't know what I was on, but I needed to get all of my energy out. And I, by the time I went to bed, I definitely like just went straight to bed. I knocked out because I was so tired. But I literally woke up at noon because we were just up like all night. We stood up watching Love Island till like 3 a.m. And Love Island is so good. Let me move the camera. I feel like this season of Love Island, all they keep talking about is self-sabotage. And they're like, I self-sabotage, I self-sabotage. And I'm like, Spoiler, sorry, I didn't say that, but I'm like, what do you mean you self-sabotage? Like, I feel like they just don't like these guys. I feel like they don't like them. They don't want to be in a couple with them. So they're using self-sabotage as a way of being like, I'm done. Like, I don't like you. And for me, I would have been like, I don't like you. Done. But yeah, I would never go on Love Island. It's just not my thing. But I love watching the drama. It just gives me, it gives me like life every night, just going to bed and watching these people argue. Like, I feel like... When I watch drama on TV, it makes me not want to have any drama in my own life. And so I just get, you know, I get off of watching TV the next morning and I'm just drama free and I feel great. I love it. But yeah, that's how my day was going last night. This morning, I'm going to do a blog. I'm going to do my nails. Today's more of like a self-care day. Usually Saturdays are self-care and Sundays are cleaning. That's how it works in Texas. Um, my week usually go Monday through Friday. It's like work, cook. Like work, go to store, cook. That's usually the plan. And then um, Saturday and Sunday, Saturday is like self-care, relaxing, go out sometimes, drink, relax, like have some beverages. And then Sundays are like just clean, clean, clean. But usually if I'm too lazy to clean on Sundays, I'll just do like Sunday, like a chill day for video games and stuff. But I wanna have enough time to play video games today so I'm gonna try and bust out everything. I think I showed you guys, but we have so many packages. And this one right here, let me make sure my address isn't showing. This is my new tripod. It doesn't have a phone mount yet. It only has a camera mount, so I might have to just vlog on my camera for a little bit, but look at it, it's huge. I can't wait. I literally can't wait for you guys to see content that i'm gonna make with that tripod you're not ready you're literally not ready and i want to make an intro like an intro to the vlogs i want to get like fake snow and go like and have like mittens on and a little hat or like my little ear muffs we're gonna come up with something cute i'm sure tyler will film it for me because he's he's literally so good at following me with the camera i'm gonna start having him just like walk behind me filming me i don't think he would care but We'll see. I'm gonna make our coffees right now. I'm making his. We have some vanilla and caramel syrup in here. I'm pulling the shot. And then I think this needs some water. But he uses regular milk, vanilla and caramel. And he doesn't like ice. So we do it like how Starbucks, if you were to ask for light ice, it's just milk and shots and no ice. But it makes it cold because I stick it in the freezer for a little. I chill it. And I do three shots, so this is two shots. I'll do one more. And I just mix it with the syrup. This is my hot oat milk latte. It doesn't look hot, but it is, I promise. And it's so good. I can't. I literally can't. Like, this is just giving fall vibes. I don't know. I'm obsessed. I literally am obsessed. My mornings are like my time of reflection, where I'm like, what, what, what did I do wrong recently? How can I change that? And how can I grow? I know this sounds so cringy and so stupid, like mental health stuff. Some people think is so dumb, but I don't think you should neglect it. Like for me right now, I'm sitting here and I'm thinking like, what could I have done during my trip to make it better? And I'm like, I should have just spent more time with my friends. 
I used to invite my best friend to just come over to my house a lot, but we had a lot of family stuff going on and I just didn't think, you know, maybe she might not feel comfortable. So next trip, I'm gonna try and focus more on the friendship aspect, see my friend a little bit more. And it was a really good trip. I really, really loved it. Getting to see my family means so much to me. And whenever I'm there, I just feel happy. I feel happy. Um, during the night, I wasn't feeling too good about myself just because I got carried away having some beverages. So, I don't know. My acne really gets to me some days, but some days I'm fine. So, we'll see. We'll see whatever I decide to make myself feel good. You know, makeup isn't bad. And I need to get that connotation out of my head. Makeup is cute. Girls slay with makeup. I think I would slay with makeup. I mean, I can only enhance what I have. Like, I love my eyebrows, even though they're a little bit patchy. I love my eyes. Like, look at I have very, very, very dark brown eyes. Like, I just, I feel like makeup would look good. I'm going to try it. I'm also going to buy this tripod um head thing for my tripod for my phone so i think the angles will get better because right now i'm just holding my phone and it keeps falling on my face okay i have my hello kitty pajamas on but we're gonna open some packages um let me make sure that my address isn't on it but this is the one with my tripod we're gonna go ahead and open this one up i also would like to get an external mic for my phone here we go, this is my tripod bag from back home. You would see me carrying this all the time. When I went to Penn State, I would always, always carry my tripod around to take pictures of people. I love taking pictures for the clubs that I was in. I've always been into photography and videoing and vlogging. I've always vlogged, like literally since I was little. Okay. This one, I think this is the one with all my glass in it. Yeah, this one has all my glass in it. I ship the dumbest things. <laughs> These are flossers from my mom. Some pictures from Tyler's cousin that she drew me. She drew me some Hello Kitties. Or she colored, she colored me some Hello Kitties. Um, my tarot cards. Um, here is my, that's a poncho. Did it crack, did it crack? Aha, I came. So I don't know if you guys know what corning wear is, but this is corning glassware and it's like, it lasts generations in your family. But this one is, um, it's real. It says corning wear um, for range and microwave one and a half quart. But this is the sunflower one or the daisy one. And these are famous, like these are well known from back in the day. I got this for four bucks from Goodwill back home. And I was like, I'm shipping it. I'm not buying that on eBay. I'm very into corning wear. <laughs> Some Easter decorations that I wanted. The reason why I wanted this is because I have a rabbit and my mom would put this up every year. And it just reminded me of rabbit. Oh, it held up. Another corning wear. This one is different. This is the 10 inch. But they're in such good quality. Like Pennsylvania thrift stores are just where it's at to find stuff like this. Because I feel like people in Pennsylvania spend money on anything and then just dump it. Like they must have spent so much money on these and then just dumped it. Uh, this is my leggings because I wanted them. What are these? Oh, these are soup mugs. Don't know if you guys know about soup mugs, but these mugs have um, cream of mushroom. They have ingredients to soups. I'm very much into older style, um, how do I describe that? Into older style glassware. Just because I've always been into thrifting. And when you thrift a lot, you get used to seeing the vintage style cups, plates, all of that. So this is the tomato soup one. And then I think I have only two out of the four. They sell these at Walmart every year. And this one is by Fine Porcelain Made in China. These ones are from Tyler's mother who gave it, who got it from Tyler's grandmother, I believe. Something that she told me like that, but these are gorgeous. I'm so happy they held up in the mail. I packed everything really good. Like there's so much of this stuff. 
These, uh, I'm gonna get that off my clothes. I have a pile of clothes here. This is a cardigan that I would wear all the time to Starbucks when I worked there. I decided I need my winter clothes, so I shipped it all over. This is another poncho that I wear. This one gives me witch vibes, witchy vibes. This is one of my favorite shirts. I don't know why I left it in PA, but Salem, Massachusetts. And it has a little, I actually might have to fill it in. Like, I feel like it's, it's rubbing off. I might want to dye it or something or try and find this online. I don't know. It's one of my favorite shirts. This I was thinking would be really good as a ballet skirt. It's like this little skirt. I don't know if it'd be good, but I know you need to be able to move your legs though. Some Hello Kitty socks that I left. Or actually, I don't think these are, I have the Hello Kitty ones. I don't know, some frilled socks. This was my favorite shirt to wear to work all the time. I wonder if it still smells like coffee, hold on. When you work at Starbucks, you come home smelling like coffee, let me see. No, but it's, it smells like home. It smells like my parents' house. Why am I gonna cry? <laughs> but this is just a regular black um, Hen Henley shirt. But this one I would wear all the time to work. Ooh, I missed it. This is my favorite. I call this my Jedi sweater. It's this big, big, big cardigan. I got it from Goodwill for like three bucks the one year. Nobody wanted it. And the lady was like, I think this would be so cute on you. Look at this. Like it's, it's amazing for winter. This thing holds up. Like you can wear this in the trenches. Um, this is my Penn State ugly Christmas sweater. We love Penn State. Okay, down here are some very, very important stuff to me. This held up, ah, I'm so happy. Look at this. It's a pumpkin pie tray, but look. You can literally just cover the pumpkin pie with the pumpkin. And you can leave it in the fridge like this. And I got this from Goodwill. I need to know if you can bake in this. I thought you can, but I'm gonna Google it. There's a little H on the inside. It might have been carved by someone. I just love it. When I saw this, how much did I pay? Five bucks. Five bucks! I love thrifting. Tyler's childhood friend has a mom. Her name's Carla. And she gave me this. It's so cute. It's, it matches our tree. <laughs> I'm sorry. This is going to be such a long vlog. And then this is pink. And I just thought they looked so cute together. Like, I don't know, just the color and the contrast. I think this one's gonna go on my desk though, and it looks like it turns on. Okay, this one might go on my desk and this one might go here on this table. I'm thinking, I don't know yet. I will have to clean all of this up in a moment, but I'm so glad to have my clothes. Okay, finishing touches. I added this little salt and pepper shaker here. I put this here and then there's a little um, bear. That was a finishing touch here on the bar. And then my finishing touch is here. I add in the Santa Claus, the snowman, and then there is the tree. And I think it looks very cute. This table's a mess, but if we're sitting here watching TV, like you can see the tree. And you also have this in the view, and then you have this. I think I'm gonna add more tinsel, the silver tinsel, to this bookshelf. I just added this garland here, and I love it. It's adorable. Okay, I just brushed my teeth. They're like super, super, super duper clean. I feel so good. I feel like I could eat off my teeth, literally. But now we're gonna wash our face. This is my face wash, the bandy cream. This is good if you have acne, it's super gentle. So let's do that. Okay, I'm gonna go and attempt to finish this. I don't even think it's gonna look good. But as long as it looks cute, I don't care. Okay, I can't figure it out. I think I literally, sorry, my already around diaper hand was in the way. But I think I literally just need uh, rollers to get my hair to be blown out because this is what we're working with, okay? Like that was after blow drying it for like an hour and a half. I think it just doesn't work on my hair type or I just need, um, Something like rollers 
to work. Like I feel like if I get rollers, that might last. When I was younger, my hair could never hold a curl since I was little. So I think I just have a specific hair type. A lot of my family is native, so this is this is what I'm stuck with, and I don't care. I think it looks cute. And I just feel good. Now I'm gonna go ahead and do my nails. Hi guys. So my belly hurts. I need to go to bed, and I'm really tired. I did end up finishing my nails, even though I said I wasn't gonna. Look, I finished them. I did white. This one's a candy cane nail. And then this one has a little heart there. But this is the final result. I'm going to go to bed. Also, I'm so determined to complete Vlogmas that I just thought I'm going to end the vlog here. Even though I'm going to bed because I'm not going to do it in the morning and pretend it's the day before. I have to do it on time. So, it's during the morning, but I'm going to bed. Bye, guys. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you.